Hey, before this video starts, I just want to mention, if you want to commission me for a video posted here on YouTube, come over to when I stream either here on YouTube or on Twitch at Retro Mario Twitch. But, let me not take up your time, enjoy the video. like the shots of Anastasia have worn off. Don't scream. I don't feel like your voice could handle screaming right now. Oh, well. I'm only here for my own gratification. I'm also hungry, if you can tell. And the only way to satisfy my hunger is to steal kidneys from humans. And you so happen to be a human. So, that's why I'm here. But no, don't worry. I stitch you up nice and tightly and stopped bleeding multiple times. Why do you sound like that? Oh. Well. That's a long story now. But I think you have time. You're not going anywhere for a little bit. So, what if I tell you why your voice now sounds like that? You see, I used to have a voice just like now, a little while ago. My vocal cords and voice box were quite healthy for what they are compared to my body. And yet, I didn't realize how tattered, how fried, and how quickly my vocal cords and voice box have been deteriorating and rotting from inside of my throat. So, I took it upon myself tonight that I needed a new voice, something to complement my look and what I sounded like all those years ago. Well, it wasn't quite years ago, but still close enough. The end of the year is coming up very soon. So I can say it's been about two years since I've actually sounded like this. But to make this Long story short, I surgically removed your voice box and vocal cords and replaced them with mine. Now, granted, it is a very, very hard job for someone to replace voice boxes on this switch like that because I had to take in consideration of how much I will bleed and how much you will bleed and how much stitching and how much Anastasia I had to use to make sure you would stay asleep while I perform this said surgery and plus the one to replace your kidney luckily the Anastasia wore out right as I was done stitching your kidney back up but we're not talking about my midnight snack now, are we? No. 
are talking about your throat and how you have the ability to speak better than I could. But that privilege has been taken away by yours truly. And it was a painful, painful process. I was in your room. I had to put down a bunch of these old newspapers and homework stacks you had on your desk on the floor so I wouldn't make a mess. It took me hours to finally stitch myself back up and make sure my cords were in functional manners. Although it is going to get <coughs> very, very hard to get used to my new voice because this voice box is not mine, nor these vocal cords. But I feel like I sound a hundred times better than I did it before with that deep, grovelly voice from those decayed voice box and vocal cords. Is that what I sounded like? I sounded like a monster. Jesus Christ. No wonder people were looking at me so it's such a frightened expression. I sounded like I was going to eat their whole bodies from which they're standing on. But I'm not that type of monster. Well, not yet at least. I would have to thank you for giving my voice more of what its original prowess was. And also thank you for your kidney. For I'm going to enjoy myself with this meal tonight. And make sure I savor it because within this night I've gotten my old voice back. Thanks to you and your generous cooperation. <laughs> well, if you call me that, sure, a lot of people have called me that. A monster. A demon. Creature. All of those things fit me very well now because of my appearance and what I have done to many people. Not just you, but tonight is different because I took something that wasn't just for nutrients. It was for myself. I did this for myself. Is that selfish? Yes. But... It was quite a noble, if you would have died, it would have been quite a noble sacrifice for not just you, but for me as well. Because either way, I wasn't going to leave your house until I did this surgery successfully. And here is our end result. So again, thank you for your noble sacrifice and patience. What is your name? I will try to remember that name to the best of my abilities. But in my old age, memory is getting quite foggy. <laughs> well, I think it's time for me to get out of here now. I have everything that I need. 
So, again, I thank you, for you gave me something to look up for in my life, and something I'll have to get used to doing before my whole body decides to decay on itself. Thank you for giving me a new light to my own situation. See you later. <laughs>